Hi, this is a review for the G-Tech lawnmower. I've already had one before, and this one here I'm unboxing as a replacement. Go ahead and unbox it. This is what you get inside. Your black grass collection box. Pretty straightforward to assemble. Handles locked in place. And underneath here is your lever that you press down, pull up. This is your side button here. You press in first. And you start the one more and then pull the bar back. This bar here. This is my this is my second lawnmower from GTEC. Well, this is my third lawnmower from GTEC actually. The first one cracked up. I had to get a new battery for it within three days. The second one they sent me as a replacement yesterday. Cut in and out, stopped working. And this is the third one which I'm just putting together to try this one. Hopefully this one works. Um, when I bought this one more, it was £199 to buy. I believe it's now £349. £349 to buy. I've got the G-Tech Hoover and I've got the G-Tech Strimmer. The Strimmer's passable. The G-Tech Hoover is fantastic. Take one more. I'm not an overly great fan of which sounds stupid I've got the G-Tech lawnmower in front of me but they wouldn't replace it to give me the money back for the Hoover, uh, lawnmower to get myself a petrol one so I've got to stick with this one hence the problems the battery here just clips into the front so that's your safety key you pull the safety key up if you're dealing with anything under the Hoover uh, the lawnmower Hoover um, and you put the safety key back in so that it's flush. If you don't put it in proper, the, 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 just, the, the lawnmower just basically won't in. The, the lawnmower basically won't start. And that's basically us. You're pressing the button here and pull the handle up. I don't know what I've got in the battery to test the battery. Just push the green button here and that'll light up your light indicators. There should be four. When it's fully charged, this is obviously half. What I've got to do with my other old one more is put it back in this box and they're coming to clip the, the old one thoroughly. So I've got that. So I just want to test this one and make sure this don't cut in and out. The hoovers from GT are rate right high. The one more, they don't rate to be anything at all. But I'm in a position where I've got to keep this one. Got a lot of options in it. Um, it was probably passable for £199. But there's no way in the world I'd pay £349 on it. The cut is okay, but what I find with the laser one was you've got to literally go down the grades to cut the grass. If you try and cut it too low, it'll just, it'll just pack in on you. It's, it's, you know, they're pretty gutless for this. So you've got to keep it in a high grade. This is the charger. You just sit. And you just sit your charger, your battery in the charger. Like. So, and that'll charge away. That'll probably take about, it's on half done, that'll probably take about another, maybe probably just over two hours, and that'll be fully charged. Well, I think G-Tech personally should have stayed with Hoovers. The Hoovers are fantastic. The Hoovers are fantastic. One more. I don't rate them to be honest at all. It's awkward, I can't cut the grass just there with the lawnmower because I cut the grass yesterday waiting on the courier coming today with the new lawnmower so it was pointless cutting the grass because I'd already done it yesterday um, I will cut the grass, I will review it and I'll show you the cutting the grass next time I cut it I will film it to let you see just how ineffective this lawnmower actually is um, as you can see I've got other products from GTEC and I've got the strimmer in my cupboard these I highly recommend the lawnmower terrible um, I've got the old lawnmower Packaged up in the box, ready for the courier company. If he's coming to pick that up Thursday, I just tried the new lawnmower very basically, just to make sure it works and don't cut out. Because the one I received that I tried yesterday 
when I pulled it, when I pushed the button and I pulled the handle up and I walked along with it, it was just intermittent and cutting out all the time, which was no good. So that I had to go back. This one here, to be fair, is staying on, but it, don't look, it looks as if it's still as ineffective as the other ones were. So I, when I bought my lawnmower, it was £199, I believe. Um, I believe now it's £349 to buy. There's no way in the world I would pay £349. I wouldn't personally recommend the GTEC lawnmower at all. Some of you will buy it and have great episodes with it and love it and be impressed with it. Fair play, we're all different. Me personally, the experiences I've had with it, I would not recommend it at all. You know, I don't rate it at all. Um, if they'd let me swap and give me my money back, I would have instantly bought myself a petrol lawnmower straight away. Bye for now guys and the next time I cut the grass I'll film it and let you see just how ineffective the lawnmower actually is.